And a lot hinges on whether Hamas accepts Israel's latest ceasefire deal proposal that could lead to a potential end to the war. Like Robert just mentioned, it could come any minute, any hour. Here with us now is activist and former Israeli intelligence and activist officer Gonin Ben Yitzhak. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, you have a unique experience because you dealt with Hamas. Why do you believe the militant group is releasing videos in this way? We've seen two in the past week. I think it shows that uh, Hamas, uh, first of all, is afraid of any uh, development that uh, will lead Israel to enter Rafah. Uh, I need to emphasize that Israel moved more than one million uh, citizens of the Gaza Strip into Rafah. Uh, so, if Israel would enter Rafah, this could uh, lead to disaster, uh, civil disaster among Palestinians. I think that we see the number of uh, civilian uh, casualties among Palestinians. This is a big worry. And also, I think that uh, uh, in the end, Hamas understands that uh, if Israel would uh, march into uh, Rafah, and I'm not talking from an Israeli point of view, but from Hamas point of view, this could lead to a problem. Uh, maybe even uh, danger to the leaders of uh, Hamas that are still in the Gaza Strip. And they really want to cash now uh, their uh, assets and uh, do some kind of deal with Israel. You know the inner workings of Hamas. What steps do you think Prime Minister Netanyahu should take to get these hostages home? You know, Hannah, this is a shame. I, I think the fact that Israel from the beginning di didn't bring back or didn't uh, say, emphasize, that the, the first goal of this war is bringing back those people that were neglected by uh, the Netanyahu's uh, government and the Israeli government. I, I'm ashamed to be in Israel and to understand that these people are more than 200 uh, days uh, in the hands of, of uh, Hamas. Netanyahu can bring them uh, home now. He, the only thing he needs to say is that we stop the war. Now, I can't uh, go into figures, but I can tell you, Hannah, that uh, right now, if you ask yourself how many Israeli soldiers uh, are located inside the Gaza Strip, this is a very, very, very low number of soldiers. There is no war in Gaza. And the only reason why Netanyahu can't say out loud, we are going to stop the war, is because politically, he's afraid from his uh, partners in the government. He's afraid to lose his government. This is the only reason. This is the reason why 133 people are still held by Hamas. And I think this is big shame uh, for us in Israel as Israelis and patriots. And you know, as well as I do, the prime minister is awaiting corruption charges once he leaves office. And I'm sure that is not helping his argument here. Let's go back to the Rafa offensive you just mentioned. How do you think that will impact your movement? And could that put the hostages in more danger moving forward, sir? I, I really hope that Netanyahu is not going uh, to do this uh, mistake. Going into Rafa is saying that we gave up the lives of, of uh, the hostages. There is no way to bring most of them by using force in Rafah. There is also a danger to hurt Palestinians in Gaza. And I, I need to uh, remind myself and my uh, uh, friends in Israel, in the end, Israel should and, and might and, and need to be a, a moral uh, country that uh, works under uh, the international law. The fact that there are so many uh, civilian Palestinian casualties in Gaza is something that we don't uh, just need to ignore. Uh, we told those people, we forced them, and there was a reason, uh, a military reason, why we forced them to move to Rafah. So we are going to endanger these people. We are going to endanger our own hostages, and we are going to endanger uh, the very important peace with Egypt, because Egypt is very concerned about uh, the possibility of uh, refugees that will uh, fl flee from uh, Rafah into Egypt. There is no reason to do it. And the only reason is because the uh, far right uh, wing supporters of this government are saying out loud, they say, we can uh, give up the hostages, but we need to win the war, meaning we want to invade Gaza again. We want to build new settlements in Gaza. And this is not one of the goals of this war. 
I truly enjoyed our conversation. I hope you come back to the show. Thank you so much for your insights. Thank insight, you so sir. much for having me. Of Thank course. You. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.